If you happen to have a tooth in bad condition, a crown can restore its shape and size and even improve its appearance. Dental bridges can also literally bridge the gap created by one or more missing teeth. Dr. Lazar explains both of these procedures that have helped his patients to keep the teeth they have and enjoy eating again. Basically, a bridge is a fake replacement tooth that's hooked on to the other teeth in your mouth for stability. They're usually made out of porcelain or gold um, and they are permanently cemented into your mouth. A crown is just a single tooth that we need to restore because it's broken or, or crumbling. We go ahead, if a tooth is, is more than 50% gone, we generally have to put a crown on it. A bridge is just a number of crowns linked together to replace some missing teeth. Bridges, as long as they're short bridges, have a very long, long, predictable life. She presented to me, she's a 20-year-old female, and the teeth that are missing there, she never had form. She never, they, nev they never came in for some reason. So after her orthodontic treatment, they created a little bit of space, and we went ahead and placed some implants to, to, to replace those teeth, and we didn't have to touch any of the other teeth that are, that are around it to go ahead and restore her smile. As you can see here, the addition of two teeth makes quite a dramatic change to her smile. The only thing we did was add the two missing teeth with some crowns on top of the implants. Beautiful, long-lasting, and she's a happy camper. We asked Dr. Lazar what kind of questions do his patients ask him? I get asked a lot of questions about should I have bridges or implants done? And my answer is based on your existing condition. Bridges can be placed on top of teeth or on top of implants. Now, if we have a missing tooth, I would rather not touch the teeth around it and just put in one implant with a crown on top of it. Sometimes we don't have the option to place implants, in which case we have to put bridges in. And as long as we have good solid teeth to anchor bridges onto, they last a long time and they look good and they chew well. This is a 65-year-old male who presented to my office with the crowns and bridge work in the front of his mouth, very unesthetic, but have also come loose now from decay and from problems with them. I think they, he said they'd been in there about 25 years, been working fine, but in the last five years had started to look really badly, and now the bridge work is loose. We accomplish this final result by placing um, new bridge work and it, you can tell the new stuff is all porcelain. You don't see the kind of dark margins and that that we saw up around the rest of his teeth. For his smile, we also whitened his teeth a little bit and we added some of the length back that he had worn off over the years to restore his youthful appearance. And you can see at the end that he has restored his youthful appearance. We actually matched a picture of his teeth from 25 years ago when we, when we did this so that he has the smile that he remembers. I've been a patient of Dr. Lazar's for approximately six, maybe seven years. And each time there was work to be done, either replacement of a crown, some cavities to be filled. And then last fall when I was here, he noticed that there were several cavities underneath what had been prior crowns and veneers. And we mutually agreed to replace all of them. And uh, I must say that his entire staff, they're not only efficient, but they're very, very professional. From the woman that's at the front desk, to the hygienist that takes care of me, to the doctor himself. It, it's really a great team, and you, you're made to feel part of a family almost.